busy Thursday was on the cards of the 2016 Dongfeng Motor Wuhan Open as a total of six main draw matches were scheduled on centre court. Two third round matches were up first to complete the quarterfinal lineup, with Barbora Stritzva coming from a set down to beat Yelena Jankovic. It would earn her a matchup against Dominika Sibylkova later in the day after she impressed with a straight sets win over US Open finalist Carolina Pliskova. The first of the day's quarterfinal action saw world number no. 9 Madison Keys face off against Simona Halep, who came into the match one victory away from clinching her spot in the WTA finals in Singapore. After exchanging breaks for most of the first set, it was finally Halep who could right the ship with her first hold of the match. Putting that slow start behind her, Halep was in the ascendancy as she powered her way to the first set. And a great first set, set for the Romanian, very happy about it. After breaking the American for the seventh time in the match, both players put on a display for the crowd with a showstopper of a rally. Oh, she almost made it. What a get again from Halep and that cross-court forehand was absolutely amazing. In the end, though, the fourth-seeded Halep was able to stamp her ticket to Singapore and into the Wuhan semi-finals with a 6-4, 6-2 victory. Yeah, right on the line, right. and this is it for this match. Simona Halep, way too strong for the American today. Up next, fighting for a place in the last four was Svetlana Kuznetsova, fresh off her third-round victory over defending champ Venus Williams. And taking her on was top seed Agnieszka Radvanska. Kuznetsova showed her familiar determination early on. Oh, the speed of Kuznetsova prevails in this point. However, it was Radvanska that would get her way in the first set, winning it six games to one. Game for six. A classic show of skill early on in the second from Radvanska would soon see her break the Russian, en route to winning three straight games. Kuznetsova wouldn't quit and capped off an impressive fight back to send it to a second set tiebreak. Radvanska saved five set points in the breaker, but it wouldn't be enough, as on her sixth attempt, Kuznetsova was finally able to capitalize and send the match to a decider. And here it is, Kuznetsova able to win this tiebreaker. The ninth seed began to benefit from a growing error count from Radvanska. The ball sent another shot long, putting the Russian in front. Kuznetsova leads four games to three. Despite fighting off one match point in the previous game, Radvanska was simply unable to muster a comeback of her own, as it was Kuznetsova who prevailed in the 16th meeting between the two. I knew I can hang in there, and I had to do that to stay positive, and I'll have my chances. Petra Kvitova's reward for a grueling three-hour win over world number one Angelique Kerber in the third round was a quarter-final against Britain's Johanna Conta. Conta won the last meeting between the pair at Eastbourne earlier this year, but Kvitova was in no mood for a repeat as the power player showed no signs of fatigue from her marathon match the day before. Grand slam quality all over it. It was the former champion Kvitova who won the inaugural event in 2014 that sailed into her third WTA semi-final of the year. I wasn't really feeling the best, but uh, I mean, when you're stepping on the court, the adrenaline is always there and I was just, you know, playing and focusing on the point, which helped me a lot. For the second time on Thursday, Stritzva and Sibylkova walked out onto centre court, this time playing for a place in the semi-finals. Remarkably, this would be the first meeting between the pair on the WTA, and just claiming the edge in the first set was Slovakian Sibylkova after she saved five break points while converting her only opportunity. Oh, what a point! Sibylkova coming with the goods at the end. Just the one break separated the players in the second set, though this time it went the way of Stritzova, with a long day of tennis set to go even longer. Neither player were confident on their own serve with five breaks in the third, in the end, it came down to who could hold out, and it was the 10th seed, Sybil Kova, who managed to outlast Stritzova. That leaves semi-finals day looking like this, with a blockbuster clash between Simona Halep and Petra Kvitova, while Dominika Sybil Kova's bid for a third singles title this year continues against Svetlana Kuznetsova.